ready today. We have, you know, on the other, the other extreme, we have had a wreck right before the top of the hour, 12 noon. But the good news is the course reopened in a, in a very quick fashion. The boats are back out of the water. And quite frankly, uh, Bob Teague, uh, the course, at the very end of the course, things were, were looking a little dicey. But things, I, I think, have calmed down a little bit over the last 45 minutes or so. Yeah, they have. They have we still have a wind that's blowing uh, in the direction the boats are going. Uh, which is down the course the way we speak. And uh, this is not great for catamarans, but it helps them stay uh, steady. It's good for the V-bottoms. It seems to be getting a little smoother. we got a 36-foot skater. This is a, this is a standard uh, conventional 30-foot, 6-foot skater, narrower tunnel, original designs. 2003, it's got Carson Brummett motors in it. And uh, this thing's uh, on kill right now. This is a great run. And you can see it's got a narrower tunnel, so it doesn't quite get the same lift as the bigger boats. But is he's running this boat perfectly. It wow. actually ran it right next to the buoy. That was a good run, and that might be the fastest run so far today. You know, uh, Garth drives the boat, and uh, Jim, uh, I'm sorry, Jim Melly is driving. Speed 192. There wow. you go, your high water mark for the weekend so far. Garth Taggy won. 92, your performance boat center speed. And for some of our audience that may just be joining us, you hear Bob talk about the buoy. That's where the radar gun is That's located, right. and it's going to pick up your ideal speed. They ran that boat perfectly. They had a couple of little side slips uh, coming through when you when we have an opportunity to see the uh, the replay. That right now on the poly boat lift replay, you can see where it kind of skated. That skater skated around a little bit, uh, but uh, it had good control and uh, uh, beautiful run. They are probably.